Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania National Military Park is a unit of the National Park Service in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and elsewhere in Spotsylvania County, commemorating four major battles in the American Civil War, Fredericksburg, Chancellorsville, the Wilderness, and Spotsylvania. <laughs> battles Fredericksburg, December 11 to 15, 1862, failed attempt by General Ambrose Burnside to cross the Rappahannock and take the Confederate capital, Richmond. Delayed arrival of the pontoons had given Robert E. Lee time to fortify the high ground, and the result was a one-sided massacre. Visitor center staffed by Park Service Rangers. Chancellorsville, May 1-3, 1863 A bold gamble by Robert E. Lee, dividing his forces and sending Stonewall Jackson on a flanking attack, which took the enemy totally by surprise, causing the Union commander General Joseph Hooker to lose his nerve and call retreat. Visitor center staffed by Park Service Rangers. The Wilderness, May 5-7, 1864 Robert E. Lee's first battle against Grant, whose advantage in artillery could not be used in the dense forest. Casualties were high on both sides, and the battle is classed as a draw. Grant withdrew, but only in order to force another battle in more open country. Exhibit shelters, staffed on a seasonal basis. Spotsylvania, May 8-21, 1864 Key crossroads which Grant hoped to occupy, to keep his army between Lee and the Confederate capital Richmond. Lee was able to take this position just ahead of Grant. Heavy rain had dampened the gunpowder, leading to intense hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Exhibit shelters, staffed on a seasonal basis. The park also preserves four historic buildings associated with the battles, Chatham Manor, Salem Church, Elwood Manor, and the house where Stonewall Jackson died. The ruins of the Chancellor family mansion are included. Chatham Manor in Stafford County is open daily. All sites are free. Topic. Park history The park was established as Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania County Battlefields Memorial National Military Park on February 14, 1927, and transferred from the War Department August 10, 1933. The lengthy name remains its official designation—75 letters, the longest name of any unit in the national park system. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places on October 15, 1966. The park includes 8,374 acres 33.89 square kilometers, of which 7,369 acres 30 square kilometers are owned by the federal government. Over 500,000 people visit the battlefield each year. Cemetery. Fredericksburg National Cemetery was created by Act of Congress, in July 1865 after reunification of the states, to honor the federal soldiers who died in local battles or from disease. The cemetery was placed on Mary's Heights, a Confederate stronghold during the Battle of Fredericksburg. There are a total of 15,243 Civil War interments, of those, only 2,473 were identified. Graves of soldiers, known and unknown, are distinguished by their markers. Identified soldiers are buried in individual graves, marked by a rounded headstone inscribed with the soldier's name and state. Unknown soldiers were buried in mass graves, the headstones marking these plots contain two numbers. The first, upper, number identifies the plot while the second, lower, number identifies the number of soldiers buried in that plot. Approximately 120th century soldiers are buried in the cemetery, in some cases, their spouses were buried next to them. The cemetery allowed new burials until 1945. Willis Cemetery, a separate cemetery on Mary's Heights, was established to serve local needs and predates the Civil War. This cemetery is distinguished from the Civil War burials by its brick wall. The Willis home, which burned down before the outbreak of war, was separated by a gap in the ridge from the Mary's family home, Brompton. Previously known as Willis Hill, the name Mary's Heights was applied to the whole of the ridge as the battle was covered by the national press in 1863, located near the 127th Pennsylvania Volunteer Monument, and throughout the cemetery, are plaques containing verses from Theodore O'Hara's 1847 poem, The Bivouac of the Dead. 
O'Hara wrote the poem to commemorate American dead at the Battle of Buena Vista, fought during the Mexican-American War. The first two octaves, and the first half of the eleventh octave are displayed in the cemetery. The muffled drum's sad roll has beat The soldier's last tattoo No more on life's parade shall meet That brave and fallen few On fame's eternal camping ground Their silent tents to spread And glory guards, with solemn round The bivouac of the dead No rumor of the foe's advance now swells upon the wind, nor troubled thought at midnight haunts of loved ones left behind. No vision of the morrow's strife, the warrior's dreams alarms. No braying horn or screaming fife at dawn shall call to arms. Rest on, embalmed and sainted dead. Dear is the blood ye gave. No impious footstep here shall tread the herbage of your grave. The following monuments and memorials are located in the Fredericksburg National Cemetery 127th Pennsylvania Volunteer Monument 5th Corps Monument dedicated 1901 Humphreys Division Monument Mosh Monument Parker's Battery Memorial equals equals photo gallery <laughs>